Can we have a timer's report, please? Both speakers qualified. <laughs> Please vote for your best uh, table talk speaker and most improved speaker. Recall that anyone who spoke today can be voted for for most improved. My final my final Toastmasters pet peeve is a big one. It really irritates me how great this club is. The entertaining speakers, the constructive evaluations, the fun and supportive members. I leave Monterey in five months. How am I supposed to find a Toastmasters club that could even compare? It's ridiculous. <laughs> I am now going to call for the speech evaluators. Our first evaluator laments that a soft touch on the off-counter bill, bell is often carried in this room. He thinks that as a public speaking organization, we should even get deemed during the prepared speeches. Here to evaluate Ellie Ishak's speech, Glenn Woodson. about your speech is that at the very outset you started it and you linked the audience who had not listened to your previous speeches back into your raw theme because for the last year almost when you've been here each speech you have given is built on the, the economics theme and as it affects the international global policy so you have built on that again and by taking 30 seconds of your speech at the beginning to address that issue you actually brought the audience in you didn't just come up and say okay I'm going to talk about the issue with the subprime and real estate market in this country, which unto itself is such a exciting yet dry subject to talk about at times. <laughs> Overall, the purpose of speech number six is vocal variety. And if you read the book, I bet you everybody remembers exactly what vocal variety says. One of the key areas is how to speak. So you're supposed to stand up straight with your legs bent over like this and breathe in and out. Of course, if I breathe very heavy right now, I'd probably cough everybody and they'll be sick. But more importantly, it's about using your projection. So you can talk softly to bring people in. Or you can talk very loudly to bring out and try to bring people into your speech and really emphasize a point. Ellie, throughout your speech, you did a, a good job of that. I think one of the challenges that exists when you have a subject such as economics is it's very easy to caught in statistics, though. And statistics, by default, become almost monotone. And that was probably the, the area of improvement that I would look at. So overall, what I really liked was that you used volume, you used good pitch control, you used your pauses to actually emphasize the points. Then you got into statistics and you got a little bit bogged down and the audience can get a little bit lost in that. If you're standing in a room of economics or economists, it's probably great. For me as an engineer, I hate numbers. <laughs> Sorry. Word usage, I think, was also very good in your speech. And that's actually a key component of vocal variety is about using the correct words. And the two that really stood out to me were, number one, you used Stockdale, the empire cause of foreclosure, which I thought was very good. The second one was you used a tsunami of voluntary walkaways. It just really brought it home. And I think using those metaphors and analogies, which you went back to speeches three and four, actually really are starting to build onto it, which is really what speech number six is about. It's about building into the basics, which you learn in speeches one through five, and then carrying that through into the advanced topic speeches as you move into researching your subject and then persuading as you move up to speech number 10. But overall, I think what you did is you gave a very educational speech that has some areas you can look at improving. Probably the, the one area that I would look at is take the Stockdale example because it is very relevant to us because it's just south of here and it is number one foreclosure capital of the country right now and emphasize that throughout your speech. I think you could have made it a little more, more relevant and brought it to the audience. Overall though, I learned more, which I always do with your speeches, and I think most everybody here did. And at the end, that's really what we're about, is influencing the audience to a point of reference. And that's what you did successfully today. 